All right, this is a follow up for my cur curfew from New York, uh, from the UK. This one is one I'm pointing out because it's two and a half years old now. And this is on the American side of it. And they were talking they were talking about a 9 p.m. curfew. So I want you guys to understand it's everywhere. But let's take a look at what they have to say. This is the average woman talking with the average man. Now, to, to put it in a fine point, replace anytime they speak about men, replace it with black men. And you'll understand exactly what I mean. The way these girls talk about guys is the same way that white nationalists will talk about black men or Hispanics or Jewish. So any of them would fill a bell. The only thing trending yesterday, Twitter user Danielle Moscato decided to pose a hypothetical question to her followers and it instantly went viral. Danielle tweeted, ladies, a question for you. What would you do if all... Just a minute. Black Lives Matter. All you Black Lives Matter guys, I want you to look at this. This is a woman who supposedly, Black Lives, La Lives Matter is supposed to be about racism, right? But you see, I understand it is actually a feminist-run organization, and this is proof of it. So all you Black guys who are involved in this, what's the point of you fighting racism when sexism has this exact same effect on your life. Anyone who backs up Black Lives Matter is a cotton picker. And he may as well cuddle up to the KKK. Men had a 9 p.m. curfew. Mm. Dudes, read the replies and pay attention. Yeah, pay, well pay attention, you subhuman cotton pickers. Her replies were extremely powerful. For example, Emma yeah, Smith. They're really powerful. I love these words, these bullshit words, they, terms they use. Mark said she could go for a walk in the dark without leaping out of my skin at little noise. Yeah. It's just imagine a white person saying, yep, if those black men weren't around, I could go for a walk in the dark without leaping out of my skin. Just think of it that way. Is just thinking about going somewhere alone without anxiety seems like a dream. Is this how guys feel all the time? User MCG said she'd enjoy running with headphones, music as loud as I want on a trail with dense trees if I so choose, without getting a little panicky every time I'm alone on a stretch with a guy who's behind me. Yeah, if you were a white guy and you would feel you could do all this free stuff if there you wasn't a fear of having a black man behind you. See how that works? See how it is exactly the same thing. Exactly the same. Not just like, the same thing. And Braun Wynn Harris said, public transit. I take all the public <laughs> transit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just get all those black men off the bus. And we white people would feel so much more comfortable. Get those Jewish men off the bus. We Gentiles would feel great. It's that's the same thing. This is how women see men. The common woman. Ladies, can you relate to these tweets? Absolutely. You know, I noticed. Yeah. Unfortunately, right? when we read when you read this, Adrian, I noticed kind of a, a, a hum go over the audience because I think you ladies actually started to process like, oh, my God, we, we never thought about that. How would you it change your life? I had to give it a second because I didn't realize that when it comes to late night, I go grocery shopping like 10 o'clock at night at Ralph's sometimes. And I actually have to think about how I dress because when I come from home, I'm wearing, you know, comfortable booty shorts, maybe a camisole because I'm, you know, it's summer in L.A. and stuff. But then when I go out, I actually do have to cover up baggy sweats, everything, because you don't even realize it. But you will invite cat calls and things like that if you. There you go. She just admitted it. She just destroyed her own narrative, her false narrative of fear. This woman isn't afraid. None of these women are afraid. This woman is disgusted that low status nobodies whistle at her. And she wishes these nobodies didn't exist. 
if she had her way, the cops, the male cops, would round up these losers and, and put them in jail or ship them home and say, move along. Royalty is walking along the streets. Your betters are walking along the streets out of sight. Dress a certain way late, late at night. But it bothers me because as women, we shouldn't have to worry about the way we dress when they need to learn about how to control themselves. Yeah. Know your place, cotton picker. Know your place. You keep your head down when the nobility walks by. So that was one thing that came to me in my everyday life. I don't care if the man is on the street. I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. Boom. I don't. Okay, here comes the talk, tough talk. <laughs> you, can, you can have a curfew. You can be outside. I'm going to do what I want to do because I'm a woman. What does that even mean? I hear stupid things like this all the time. I'm a woman. What does that mean? <laughs> anyway, she's not afraid. So she's breaking their stupid narrative. Their false man smearing narrative. None of these women are afraid. Just remember that, guys. This is all lies by the common average woman. And I think that... I understand this is a fantasy, but if you reversed it and said if women had a curse, so we'd sexist. have a problem with it. We need to. That's right. Because they would, they, she knows what it's really about. It's about being a second class citizen and bringing back the separate drinking fountains. So she admitted what these girls are actually wanting. They're admitting the, how they see the other guy, the average guy in the street, as people who are beneath them. To learn how to get along. Men and women are going to have to learn how to get along. And what I like about this whole Me Too movement, the time's up, is that it is. How are men and women going to get along with the hashtag Me Too movement? How? It, Me Too is about causing men to lose their jobs or even being put in jail at a woman's word. No evidence required. No trial required. No blowback if it turns out to be false. Nothing. How is that going to let men and women get along? Unless she agrees that the idea of getting along is that men know their place. And if a woman decides to uh, put the guillotine on a man's head, he just accepts it. That's what she means by getting along forcing us to have conversations and we're going to have to learn how to get along that you can have rights if you want to wear your booty shorts <laughs> and nobody touch you you wear your booty but this isn't about touching no one said anything about touching that long-haired black woman was or she black-haired woman there she was talking about catcalling she didn't say anyone touched her shorts and nobody touches yeah. you and that you That's also it. shouldn't have a prejudgment that just exactly. because he's a man walking behind you he's here to kill you i'm sorry there are some women that are killers too you never seen that show exactly snapped? i'm just seen saying like like let's keep it even there are just as many women that do not very nice things as there are men so i think yeah because what they're talking about has nothing to do with violence they admitted that they aren't afraid so if we know it's just about uh making men into cotton pickers. I have a hard time because I just imagine that God, you know, God forbid one day I have a son and just because he's a man walking behind a woman, she's here. That's what see, and this is all that comes into these people's heads. What if I have a son? If these people were guaranteed not to have sons, they would say, who, who, who gives a shit? I, <laughs> you think this woman really thinks any better of men than the other three? fearing for her life like i i pray that the future allows us to view people in a better way and yes. i pray that we're a part of that change but like I, just because he's a man i get it if he's doing something that seems off seems wrong but even that doesn't mean anything that doesn't mean shit <laughs> just based off of the fact that he's a man you're afraid for your life i i have a hard time with that yeah well for one thing they're not afraid of her lives. They just all admitted it. So there's no point of her even going on. I, I just hate the conversation like this. I hear, I hear you what know? you're saying, but the reason... She hates the conversation because it shows 
just how shallow and hateful women are towards men. It shows what women are really about. <laughs> Reality is, you have to be careful because I know when I was growing up in San Francisco, I absolutely couldn't go walking through the tenderloin late at night by myself. Absolutely not. Um, you have to, you do have to care. There's reasons why I have mace and things like that. There's reasons why I, when I pull up, I have to park valet because late the after the club, I don't want, because I just don't want to, I've, I've been assaulted a few times by a man. I've never been assaulted by a woman. So this oh. is my experience. So, okay. What does assaulted mean? Is this more cat calling or was she actually mugged? <laughs> so, if you get rid of all the men, you think you're not going to get mugged by a woman? This is nonsense. And so what I see, yeah. I'm just being smart. I don't need to walk out, you know, at 1 a.m. in a mini skirt. But again, I'm missing, you, I'm missing the point already. Just replace it. You say, oh, just get rid of the black men. Just get rid of the Jewish men. Get rid of the, get rid of the Jews. And, you know, we won't have these problems. Just, just put in that demographic. Just get, get rid of the uh, Muslims. And there won't be any terror. See, it's the exact same rhetoric. It's the same rhetoric. You guys have to stay on point if you ever make these arguments. That Ooh, I come girl, from where the 90s in New York City, there was girls, yeah. there was literally a girl gang that was walking around when I was in junior high school that was slashing girls' faces with box cutters. Oh, and, and that was goodness. to initiate them into their girl gang. So I had. They're not going to like her because she's stepping on their false narratives. She doesn't know to get in line. The opposite situation. I grew up, you know, taking the train in New York City and being like, I have to watch out because girls are out here trying to slice my face. <laughs> no, but so, so that's why I have just a different sure. perspective well, and, where it's men and women. <laughs> you know, this is really disgusting. <laughs> you know how white nationalist say, you know, we're just having a conversation about IQ. You guys have heard of that. Well, this is what these girls, they're just having a conversation about what it would be if men were just uh, made illegal after 9 p.m. They just, that, that their uh, freedom of movement was curtailed. So these ladies uh, who are so above them wouldn't have to look at them, wouldn't have to see them or hear them. That's what this is about. And so I have to say, one of my commenters talked about, well, move out of the UK because this happened. Uh, we were, the last video was talking about the UK, right? So just go to the United States. This is what the United States is full of. The same thing. Men and women are the same everywhere. <laughs> and all those guys who then say, well, go to the third world. They said, <laughs> they're all the same there as well. Like, pick up and run away is all guys tend to want to say. <laughs> and here's a guy make a mistake. Honestly, it's just pure sexism and discrimination. He's right. However, uh, let's see what else is saying to one gender that they can't go out at night because something they didn't choose, chose, is ridiculous because, you see, this is where he fails. You see, he should have just left it at that because – if, the K if you're a black man and the KKK shows up, you don't just say, well, you attacking me. This is ridiculous. No, no. You, you scream for help and run. You know, this is the proper one. This is just pure sexism and discrimination. There. That's it. Because <laughs> that's what you've got. To, these guys thinking people. <laughs> Adrian and Lonnie, I take it Adrian must be, I don't know who's who. Completely missed the point. Men aren't uh, in fear of their lives when they see a woman walking. You see, there you go. So Adrian's take on this was disgusting. Lana disappointed me. Yeah, you see, they're, they were all the girls weren't in line, right? They they didn't one hundred percent say, "Yep, we need to keep men and off the streets, so the royalty can walk, you know, unimpinged, without having to see them." You know, this is what it's about. So remember, this isn't about fear. These women do not fear anything. If they were afraid, they wouldn't be out late at night by themselves at all, dressed anyway. 
They aren't afraid. They're simply disgusted at the average guy who's on the street, and they wish they were out of sight and out of mind. And they represent the average woman. I need you to understand that. That's what you're up against. Thank you.